Don't you some hot watch? What's up, Dace Tagler Nation? Welcome to another edition of the Dace Man Show. I am your host, Chris the Dace Man Dace, and I am coming to you again from the one and terrible city, Hot Lana. And you can hear us this week, so that's a fantastic thing. Yes, we can. Uh, join us at... Sorry, I don't know where the fuck these people are. Gimme! Hi, I'm just a button pusher today, guys. That's all I well, get to I'll do. Push the right fucking buttons this time. She makes a valid point. So, did you see the map I sent you, Dace? Yeah, what is that? Where, where are you located? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, also introducing Just... Frank Ward! Just uh, yeah, okay. C- carry on. Just move on. <laughs> He's and irrelevant. <laughs> and tits. Evidently, the whole show's um, irrelevant besides you, Gibby. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. Well, if, if you watched last week's episode, yes. I gave Frank a segment last week. You- Look, you Nobody one, heard you, it. You bring Nobody Nicolas Cage on the show, and it's yours. It. Until then, it's not yours. I have ways of making it my own. <laughs> you make it difficult to edit, because now I have to go through that and listen to it again to cut out all the dead air. That's oh. why that episode is not on SoundCloud yet, because I just haven't pulled myself to waste my weekend on doing that. <laughs> <laughs> all week, I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I am not editing that show. I do not want to hear that again. It's not like you're going to do it this weekend either. No, I might, because now, uh, start, when I get home Thursday, I'm home till the end of the year. Damn! There you yeah, go. I thought you were going to watch Star Wars and be covered in Cheeto dust. Yeah, I can do both. Okay. Oops. That's, a, that, that's the glory of the, uh, the laptop. But I do plan on marathoning Star Wars all day Saturday. I don't know when I'm going to start. I asked Tony for his preference and time, but at the same time, uh, I don't know when that guy sleeps. He so. doesn't. <laughs> so that's he can, fine. He'll text me and be like, oh, I just woke up at like five in the afternoon. And it's like, I'm ready to go to bed. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got, it sucks being on the road, even though it uh, makes it way easier to edit for SoundCloud. But um, nothing's happened. Like this weekend sucked. It was boring. Uh, like, I don't know. I, I streamed. It's true. But Just like saying. this week, all I did was uh, I Not did stream. everything I couldn't do during the week. You know that glorious thing because you travel and then all of a sudden you have to do all your errands, your laundry, your cleaning, everything on the two days that you're home. Do you uh-huh. actually even do that stuff? I do. Yeah, you, you don't realize how much you do until you have to cram it into two days. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It's aggravating. Anyway, uh, sports. I don't know. You, you got. You have to call it when we go into things. Yeah. All right, sports. I got sports you follow sports all right so oh she's doing it get dace doesn't have it all right I guys give me the freak give me fuck off what <laughs> <laughs> I'm the so power joking. of the soundboard <laughs> anyways week 13 of nfl is in the books and it was really fucking weird like the last couple weeks so i'm a little upset i missed monday's teams, game i'm just saying the team that shall not be named lost to the cowboys 38 to 14 the Kansas City Chiefs lost Undefeated to the Jets. Undefeated Kansas City Chiefs. Get it right. <laughs> lost to the Jets, 38 to 31. The Patriots beat the Bills, 23 to 3. The Broncos lost to the Miami Dolphins, 35 to 9. The 49ers beat the Bear, the Chicago Bears. The oh, Bears. By uh, one point. By the way, fuck that game. <laughs> uh, okay. The Niners are not supposed to win any. They Damn. Really and they only won by a point. The Ravens yeah. beat the Lions 44 to 20. The Vikings beat the Falcons 14 to 9. Mm. The MRSA driven Buccaneers lost to the Packers 26 to 20. 
The Texans beat the Titans 24 to 13. The Colts beat the Jaguars 30 to 10. The Browns they lost, they lost to them. You said beat. What? They're fired. Okay. <laughs> the Colts, Damn, she's going already. God damn it. The Chargers beat the Browns 19 to 10. The Rams beat the Cardinals 32 to 16. The Raiders beat the Giants 24 to 17. The the Saints beat the Panthers 31 to 21. The Seahawks beat the Eagles 24 to 10. Woo! And the Steelers beat the Bengals 23 to 20. Um so two of the big, guys. One of the bigger things that happened this week besides Giants losing not only their head coach but their general manager who were both fired after this week and I think we're pretty sure that uh, from what I was hearing, they benched Eli out of spite. So remember how you said that Gibby that they were trying to bench him just to save him. Everyone that's the only they thing they will remember because that's all yes. they could hear. I, I think the reason they got rid <laughs> of bad. him was to because they benched him. Well, either way, Eli Manning has been placed back in the starting lineup. <sighs> Jesus Christ, that's a ruin in the streak. Bad. Circus so, Eli Manning act. is back in the saddle after one week after the Giants, the New York Giants snapped his 210 game start streak. NFL Network's Mike Garofalo reported circus. Tuesday that Manning would start Sunday versus the Dallas Cowboys. The decision came if the Giants coaches and staffers had final game planning discussions per sources. I would have shut him down. Decision. I would have shut him down. They move, they move Manning back. Move, ugh, the move back to Manning comes the day after. Monday's firing of head coach Ben McAdoo and also I, of fucking, what's the other guy's name? I don't know. Could yeah. you imagine that locker room? Just like, well, uh, shit, Eli, hey. you're playing again because I'm not getting fucking fired. Well, did you hear what else happened? Did you hear about all like the previous players and like a lot of like the famous players went to the Giants game, bought tickets, didn't go into the game, and, wore, and showed up wearing a Manning jersey? Like they protested them benching Manning. It's still paid. Yeah. Morons. Idiots. Yeah, I agree. That was dumb. That was 100% dumb. I think it's... Uh, I, I understand what they're doing. I, I would... I would trade him. I, I would just... I would literally keep, keep him benched. But that's just me. The only oh. reason they're playing him now is solely, solely because they're afraid to get their jobs cut, basically. Probably. Because <laughs> I, I guarantee no. you they want to try and keep Manning. And basically by benching him like that, you're pretty much signaling that he's leaving. Someone, see, I don't know. A lot of people were saying they think that um, because the coach knew he was done for, he just benched Manning out of spite. I doubt it. I highly, highly know. doubt it. But there is not one, not two, but three players this week who received a one-game suspension. Oh, my God, dude. So Rob, so Rob, so Gronkowski is suspended for what an one idiot. game after violating... NFL's rules on unnecessary roughness. What did, an did idiot! You see, did you see that play? He didn't even flag for it, though. The refs let that go, and they called a flag on like some other bullshit that the Bills did. Then, what on an top idiot! Gronk, then, on top of Gronk being suspended, <laughs> Juju smith Schulster and George Aloka will be each be suspended for their Hold hits. Up. So the guy Nick got was suspended? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I hate you, Commissioner. I hate you and your stupid <laughs> fucking league because you bullshit league. Ugh, go go on with your business. So You're welcome. Three of the team, three players were suspended for 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 hits and unnecessary roughness this week. Like three people. I just feel like this is just getting out of hand. Like I really don't feel. I think the rules are just shitty anymore. I hope Gibby gets eliminated first round. Fuck you. What? And then Damn. there's also. Oh, 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 what? Back up a sec. Tri what do you mean the rules are out of hand? Gronk full on body flopped on a guy that was on the ground for no reason at all. Yeah, that well, that no, but straight, I, straight up frog splashed him. That thing he should get way more, way I more didn't than see one Gronk's game. Hit. I just way I more. The, like, weren't the other two completely ridiculous though? Um, I'm sure Gronk is preparing for a WWE career. All right, yeah, so yeah, <laughs> pretty like much. The other two, I, I would say I don't know if I would consider them. Uh, Suspendable? They're definitely 15 yards. I, I would say they're definitely 15 yard hits, but whether or not they're suspendable is up in the air. I think the biggest issue is that that game was just. The refs lost, just basically lost control. I mean, I that, that's like basically the, the problem. The refs haven't had much. They've been kind of. 
I don't know. They haven't been the best this season to be. Are you gonna whine about Monday's game? Is that what you're leading up to? I didn't like I didn't wait and watch see. it. I didn't either. I didn't either. Or Sun- Sunday's game. That's what I meant. I didn't watch it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you didn't watch the Eagles. I didn't. I watched The Walking Dead. And no, I, I didn't watch. I was over a friend's house talking to them. Can I? Can I hang up on her? <laughs> when yeah, I mean, you, you had that power. <laughs> I what? still have a couple. I still have one more story and the end of NHL standings, and this week I won't fuck are, it up. Are you sure? I promise. She's gone. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> well, how can you not days. not watch the Eagles? I mean, I honest to God, how could you not watch them? I'm not I an did, Eagles fan. Did not watch them. Walking <sighs> Dead's more important. God, she calls her. She's a bandwagoner, guys. Bandwagoner. Can she not get back in? Because this is great. <laughs> Here, I'll add her back. No, 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 so no, you kick no, her again? Yes. <laughs> Come on. She probably said, fuck this, I'm just done. <laughs> you probably broke it. Oh, it's so <laughs> yeah, I broke it. That it's probably Yo, she her F-U'd back me. In. She F-U'd me. All right, maybe no, she's... I think Skype is stupid, so now you won't be able to re-add her. So, yeah. It's, oh, it says she's busy. Yeah. Yeah, Skype's stupid. <laughs> I don't think this hit is worth suspending. Where did I Schuster. die? Um, <laughs> have you been talking this whole yeah. time? You didn't realize it? I yeah, because my phone started vibrating because it said I was calling back. Oh, dear dick. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. But for the record, I'm just eagerly no, waiting no. for the food. Dace has got did all the power. Actually- no, did you hang up on me or did I lose connection? Oh no, he, he hung up there. on. No, oh, no, I, wow. I would no, never, you, never, totally connection. never, <laughs> never do a, such a thing. So when Trish. did you hang up on me? Because I did have another story. It was something about Brad Gashu's rock picks out debris, and Brad Jacobs capitalizes for the win. So our boy Gashu lost. Yeah, he did. It was, it was fucked up, man. It was a fucked up. Wait, man. you guys went to curling? Yeah. No, oh, dude, we're ready for gaming. Mm-hmm. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It's gaming time. Uh, are we really doing gaming? Like what? I that was a we joke. Just, we just moving on. I don't know. I don't care. I'm not running <laughs> the it. show. Y'all You're running the soundboard. Right it's Gibby's turn. Gibby. That's fine. It's Gibby. 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 Escalated quickly. Yeah, baby. Uh, I actually like my uh, my music, my intro. You know, not, I'm not used to hearing it anymore. Well, none of us can hear it now. I know. That's all that matters to me. You had the new booth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we built a booth and we don't use it anymore. Really, I blame no. Gibby. Uh, Me too. Pubga. I blame Gibby. Yeah, because everyone loves Pubga. Uh, uh, fucking hell. Uh, go to the bathroom. Currently allows players to spend a little extra money on loot boxes that contain cosmetic items. Hold on. Loot crates. Yes. You're okay with this in PUBGA, but not Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah, I'm bringing it back up because nobody heard the bitching last week. Yeah, I, I, I ha- that's why I brought it up here. Anyway, more loot boxes um, options are coming to PUBGA in time, but they will never contain items that affect gameplay. Hear never. that? Keyword here. Never. What's the never. point? It's yeah, cosmetics. For prettiness. Or pretty. will yeah. it because of graphic cards and you can spot somebody easier because now they're hot pink. Affects gameplay. Fuck you. Well, and yeah, the fact that, you know, you don't have the grass anymore or you have to have grass now. I know. It's so bullshit. Oh, did they finally fix that? Yes, yeah. That bastard. How come we didn't have that in the big news story? That's something that people want to hear. We, they did it. He I don't did, think you were on the show. We don't uh, listen to him? You weren't there that week. That no, I don't think he was here. I think he was, uh, for some reason, I feel like he was in Boston for some reason. Yeah, he wasn't there that week. There's a good chance of that. <laughs> anyway, um, so they're saying that they're not going to screw up like Star Wars Battlefront did, basically, is what they're saying. That was in Most their press release? <laughs> yes. We're not going to fuck it up like those guys. <laughs> Most people can't screw it up as bad as uh, EA has. So. EA has, yeah. Yeah, you're not kidding on that one. Uh, now we're going to go on to Star Wars. 
because they just Ta-da! can't. They literally can't get out of out of the news because they on, just completely the botched everything. Is PUBG available on Xbox now? Uh, it's going to. Uh, it's going to run at 30 FPS, which is a shame, crying shame. Uh, but it, no, it hasn't released. Oh, uh, looks knowledge. like looks like next week. X- Xbox it's, game preview begins 12 12 2017. It's soon, yeah. Well, it's a game preview. I don't think that's well. I don't know what it's that means. Game. But I did see that, but I don't know what that means. But it says preview, so isn't that just like a test thing? I have no I idea. I don't know. I, I was just looking at because again, I can convince Nick to buy it and then I'll play it. That's what I'm looking. That's what I'm going so for. Basically, it. what you're saying is you're gonna spend Nick's money. Yes. Well, yeah. It's a lot better than spending my own money. I, I can see that. I can see I that. Was just, I was just asking. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. God. All right, you can, you can move on to Star Wars or right. whatever it is you talk about. Star Wars Battlefront uh, players may soon get the chance to customize their characters. A video has been leaked of a character customization menu not currently found in the game. The leak was published by a Redditor named uh, Uninsp- Uninspired Zebra. Aww, I guess a little sure. weird, but okay. <laughs> Who has a history of obtaining Battlefront 2 information early through data mining. It more. shows the PC version of the game having a change appearance option, the assault character class. This menu isn't currently available in the game. Um, so I'm kind of interested in that. So my, my thing here You're is... probably it, the only one. If they actually had this customization where you can change how they look, why in the world do you tie everything to class cards? And then None have them in the loot box. Why about? not put these customizations in the loot boxes? So now I could just imagine the loot boxes are going to have customization things, and you probably won't even be able to get the things that upgrade your character. Bad on you, Star Wars. Bad on you. Bad on you for assuming. I, I, yeah. I, I don't care. I, I'll do as I do. All right? We know. I'll yeah. Do as I do. Uh, I'm just agreeing. I don't know. So for all of you other Star Wars fans out there. Um, Everybody's a Star Wars fan. Shut your face. All the DLC is <laughs> going to yeah, I know. All the DLC is going to be released free, obviously. And it starts this month with the first season update, which in this case will be themes around the upcoming Star Wars episode uh, 8. Uh, Last, Last Jedi. Jedi. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm staring here at it. And I'm like, wait, is that eight? I, I don't. Why did I have to do Roman numerals for shit? I don't I'll like it. Me, I'm just. I'm impressed. You knew the number past five. Um. It took him a bit. He struggled, even though he should have already known that eight's coming up. You didn't even have to read that. I should have known. Yeah. Uh, the start modestly should today, be. December fifteenth. Uh, when you'd be able to choose ally yourself with the First Order or the, the New Republic. Doing so presents you with special weekly faction quests over the next few weeks with rewards that correspond to your side. Completing those will not only reward you with credits and crafting parts, but help you uh, help your faction closer to victory. Giving all members of that side an additional reward, developer Dice explained. The other faction will get a crate of their own, but with lesser prizes. Uh, but it will hopefully come with a drive to fight back even harder. Uh, for the first challenge, uh, players have to rack up 50 kills with each trooper class. Uh, this doesn't mean uh, that this doesn't need to be completed before the next challenge arrives. You have until the end of the season to finish and complete them at any order. So I guess the new DLCs are coming out. Uh, two new heroes are also being released. I and bet I know who. Take a guess. Is it me? Phasma. Yes. Yes, you're right. That's uh, I'm a genius, and I'm a fan. Uh, Galactic <laughs> Exalt map uh, was also released. Uh, Crate. Maybe. C-R-A-I-T. Kind of put an E at the end there, but I don't, not really sure how to pronounce that. Anyway, I think that's the new uh, snow planet that you see in the trailer. Oh, uh, okay. Where the speeders are coming across, and the new improved walkers are coming across. I think that's the the planet. Cool. Uh, a starfighter assault map decor, the car, uh, and a new vehicle. Uh, a D apostrophe Q A R. Okay. It's a map. So it's a planet, or I, I guess know. above a planet. You were struggling, you never know. Uh, and a new vehicle, uh, Tally's A-Wing. Who the hell's Tally? 
Probably somebody from the new movie. It's probably that Asian chick that's running around the trailers, and everybody's like, who the fuck is that? Oh, maybe. Along with uh, new weekly and daily challenges, all that comes on the multiplayer side, but there are also something for you single players out there. Hi. Um, as well as additional missions called Resurrection. Uh, Good. This, That'll pick up where the story left off, right? Uh, this sees you, again, step into the shoes of Aiden... Versio. Versio. This time, during the days of the First <laughs> Order, rise to power. I'm actually excited that they're actually going to do that, where they... Um... Continue the campaign? I'm thrilled. Yes. Exactly. Who am Did I you calling? Finish the campaign? What the hell are you talking about? Not you, Gibson. You're I killing me. I haven't finished the campaign. I finished it, yes. What did you think? I loved it. I thought it was really good. Uh, I didn't know. The, the end was fucking weird, but... Uh, the end leaves it open for so much more potential. Yeah, I know, but it's just so weird. No, it's um, not. You're just not a good fan. Well, no, I, li- I, I don't like the fact that, uh, like, ha- like, the whole... Spoilers! The, the Spoilers. last, the, Spoilers. last uh, the mission you play, like, I don't... Well, I don't even know if oh, it's a mission or whatever. That is stupid. That, I, is, that I, is a weird mission. Okay. I, okay. I didn't like the that. The gameplay is weird. Yeah, I didn't the like that. The story's good. The story, Gameplay's yeah, good. the story was fine. I actually really enjoyed the story. That I just how it ended, well, at least gameplay wise, it's just I just didn't. Yeah, you know, it's an emo I, Jedi. What do you expect? I, I get, could you could you lose in that map? I guess I don't. I don't. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, I was so, I was so fucking confused when I was playing it. Let's completely sidetracked. Are you going next Thursday? Mm-hmm. Okay, just double checking. You're the oh, type yeah. of guy that goes, "Oh, can I still buy tickets the day of?" Cause... No, I have my. Well, I have tickets. Uh, God knows where they are. Uh, so we had to call them and tell them to uh, keep we'll a set reserved for us because we already bought them. Mm-hmm. I just don't know where the hell the thing went. Uh, but I already got my um room room and everything. Yeah, <laughs> that's I, the word. I couldn't. I couldn't think of the words. You know, the words Why are hard. Will teach you English yet, Gibby? <laughs> Anyway, um, throughout the month, other challenges and events will also including holiday playlists on December 27th. Everything is available on all platforms uh, and is scheduled to coincide with the release of The Last Jedi. So, on the 15th. Da, for all of you da. who don't know, because no. you're losers. I'm not going. That's because you're a loser. Loser. Yeah. Uh, also, with the uh, updates uh, that started today, they're actually trying to make it easier for you to get, I guess, credits is what it is. Oh, so they're backtracking on everything you're bitching about? Well, they're trying to make it easy. Well, I think the problem is, because out of us here, three of us, do you have it, tits? What? She doesn't have good tits. Battlefront? I don't have a... I don't know. I don't. You're irrelevant. Doesn't have then. good taste. All right. No. So out of the three of us, who here has actually played Star Wars in the past week? Uh, I can't say that I have. I haven't I'll either. Exactly. Have. Now this is a brand new game. There's no, like I don't think I played it. I think I played it for the first two weeks it came oh. out, and then I haven't gone back to it. Well, time out. I'm not a good marker to measure against. You're right, well, yeah. I'm a great He's marker. Great marker to measure against. I've no, played Dave, God listen, more than I've played Dave this game. Dave will never be a good marker after the whole Assassin's Creed thing. I still haven't played the new one. <laughs> That's fine. And I bought that way back. Yeah, or uh, Overwatch? <laughs> yeah, Overwatch. Come on. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what, I do see Dan on there all the time. That's because yeah. Dan has no life, friends, or girlfriend. True. So, I mean, if th- that's a marker, if you want to measure against... If someone like Dan went, I'm not playing this anymore, then yeah, holy shit, that game must suck. I don't I don't think I don't think Dan's playing it. For some reason, I see Dan on freaking uh, WoW all the time again. again. He's playing everything all at once. He's, he's a multitasker. You know? No wife, he's friends, or girlfriend. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. I logged on to go to Netflix because that's all I use the fucking thing for. And I seen it said Dan's playing Battlefront. I'm like, that's got to be lonely. Because yeah. I haven't played with him. I haven't. I played like twice with him, and both times you were playing with me. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like I said, I've, I I can't tell you. I it's almost it's got to be almost two weeks now since I've actually even touched the game. Well, maybe that's. It's also you have a preference for PC over console. It's yeah, way I, obvious at this point. Yeah, but it's still pretty PUBG shitty. heavy, 
fucking news feed you give us every Tuesday. No, he's been playing Rust. That or Blizzard. Yeah. Blizzard. 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 Yo, Rust just came out a new patch. I gotta, I gotta, gotta play. Gotta play. Can't help it. Can't help it. I don't even know that game. It's a boring game to watch. Rimworld Rimworld just came out with an update, so that's what Mike's been playing. Rimjob? Yes. Rimjob? It's actually not that bad to watch. Oh, it's terrible. But the pro- Rust or Rimworld? Rust. The whole, but the whole freaking problem, it's the same problem that Rust has (laughs) as PUBG has, is you really need a team. You need to have a group of people playing, and it, it, but the fact that it's just me, it's very boring to watch one person play the game. If you, Mike would probably play with you. That, that's the whole console? issue. No. It's not. No, it's, it's well, easy. then fuck it. And, and the, the other thing about that game, which irritates the living crap out of me, but I have DayZ in here, which we'll talk about later. Um, <laughs> th- these stupid games where they, they release in, like, alpha or betas. This Rust is still, quote unquote, in alpha. I don't understand. Where they release it in Steam as either alpha or beta and charge for them. And they, like, never freaking leave that state. Like, ever. Is that their excuse for releasing, like, if there's bugs or something, they can just be like, oh, exactly. oh it's still an alpha. Whoops, sorry. It's What'd the you developers. Expect? They don't feel, it's, it's just the fact, I feel like with small developers like that, they might just take on too much at one time. And then That's they what I would do. Forget. Like, oh, the Dayspan show is still an alpha. Ignore the fact that we've been live for five years. Mm-hmm. I mean, why not all our viewers do? Hey, we're an alpha. It's okay. That's why we don't have viewers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe we should release a game. It could just be. It'll be like a Flappy Bird with Gibby's face on an Aerodactyl. We'll have to get rights oh for this stuff. Oh my god. I'm in. Anyway. I could have my so, create it. So one of those games, like I just said, DayZ, uh, developer of Bohemia, has confirmed that the survival action game is still headed to the PS4. Though players, on, yeah, that's the other thing. It's still an alpha or beta, and then they start co-branding it, or they start expanding it out onto other systems to sell more copies, even though it's only an alpha. <laughs> They that's, want what they did with, um, that's what they did with Subnautica. They did the same thing with PUBG. They did, like, it's going on Xbox. The shit is nowhere near ready, but it's up. Uh... Have you ever played Subnautica, Gibby? <laughs> uh, yes. I yeah, had, it for, had it for early access. Didn't we, didn't we Mike, get, do we not review well, it or something? So uh, Mike has it on X, had it on Xbox first, but then it kept fucking him over. He would get four hours into the game, and the fish would stop spawning, or the game would crash, and then he'd lose all his stuff. So he went and bought it. He went and bought it for Steam because it's more steady on Steam than it is on Xbox. The whole fucking thing's a joke. Anyway, uh, Day Z is has a launch date. It's actually coming with version 1.0. I mean, the game's actually going to release sometime in 2018. They actually haven't said a date. Day Z. That's the name of the game. Day Z. It's a zombie apocalypse. Uh, You must survive. Don't make a sound. Things will chase you and kill you. So kind of like seven days, seven um, days to die or seven days to live. Sort of, but uh, you also have to verse other players. So you could be a dick and just go around killing people. So it's like uh, Friday the Thirteenth, just with zombies. Yeah. Anyway, right. DayZ right. launched in two thousand goddamn thirteen. Big <laughs> okay. Just saying, and it's not expected to release until eighteen. So five years, this damn thing was in early access, making people spend. Thirty-five dollars for the game. Uh, it has sold more than three million copies. Well, it worked. Yeah, I know it does. Big pimping. Um, WWE 2K18. Send to the Switch. Next story. <laughs> Go to the Switch. Damn. That sigh of defeat was so perfect. Damn. Mega Man. <laughs> I don't know that one. You can go with that one. Capcom celebrates a 30-year anniversary God, of Mega Man <laughs> during a live stream this week. After teasing it would uh, be an event fans wouldn't want to miss, the publisher shared several announcements. The most significant one revealed a brand new game, Mega Man 11. There aren't many details at this point, but we do know Mega Man 11 will be released for the PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. And it's due out in 2018. And it's being directed by Koji Oda. 
<laughs> with Kazuro Tas uh, Tasukiya on board as a producer. We got a brief look at some gameplay, uh, which you guys can probably find online, which is from the live stream that they did on Twitch. Uh, like its press predecessors, Mega Man 11 is still a 2D side-scrolling action uh, platformer. Uh, during the stream, developers said that the overriding goal in developing is to resurrect Mega Man. Fundamentally, it looks very similar to past Mega Man games, although it does feature a noticeably different art style. So, what a little less boxy. Uh, I I. Uh, I mean, just looking at it, it kind of looks uh, a little bit more. I mean, it's a lot. It looks a lot nicer, but it, it's a lot. Looks a little bit more cartoony, I would say. So a little less boxy. Well, sure. Like, I, it looks like a cartoon that you would see. Well, whatever. I I would not say that if you look at the old Mega Man's that it looked like a cartoon. But whatever, it is what it is. It's also more brighter, but it is what it is. More brighter. Good more, more brighter, brighter. yes. Yep. Uh, Nintendo Wii and GameCube games are being remastered. Why? For the NVIDIA Shield. Why? But only if you're in China. Sad, Why? Sad days. <laughs> so what's the relevance of this story? Uh The console will feature ported versions of Still games going. like Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, and New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I think it's Wait. interesting. Wait, hold on. That's, a, that's not a GameCube game. That's a Wii game. I said GameCube and Wii. Wii. How do you remaster something that came out in HD? I don't know. They're pretty good. Pretty good at it. Um, apparently, it only costs you $227. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Why not? Dollars or like yen? Uh, it's uh, it is one thousand four hundred and ninety nine uh, yen. Huh. So that's like twelve dollars, right? It comes out to two hundred and twenty seven dollars. Bullshit. Oh fuck you, fuck you. Uh, but that's for the gaming system, which is the Nvidia Shield thing. Uh, games will be sixty eight yen, which is only ten dollars. So. But Yay. still. Unfortunately, it is uh, likely remaining in a China exclusive for some reason. I don't, I don't know it. why. I guess they, they love it. They can keep it. You can go. You if you have a GameCube, you can get one for fifty bucks at a flea market, and then get the game for five bucks in America. Fuck you, China. He's got a good point. Woo! GameCube <laughs> games are ridiculously cheap because they're not NES level yet. Oh, really? Interesting. And I they know are. that. Because you, you, I go on looking for retro games because I hate this new shit. Um, and GameCube is cheap, but I don't know what to buy on GameCube because I already have what I want. Nice. Um, if you guys are looking for a holiday gift, according to this article, Ubisoft is giving away two PC games, and they're pretty good ones. Now through December 11th, you can get the RTS World in Conflict and its Soviet sold expansion. Um, and you can also get Massive. I don't know what Massive is. The Division. I don't know what either of them are. I don't know either. So, uh, if you want to get your friends a shitty Christmas present, yeah. here it is. Uh, and then on December 12th, uh, I guess that's, what, the day after that one? I guess the next games that are coming on uh, release is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I think I played that one. That's the one where you, like, sail a lot, right? I guess, yeah. Well, he's on a thing and there's a whale, so I would say yes. Uh, this freebie offers ends on is the that, 28th. Hold on. Is the thing a boat? Yes. Couldn't but I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that a boat, man. It's maybe like a pirate boat ship. Boat has less... Pirate Wait. ship. Oh, my God. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> break my, you break my brain. You break my brain. I know. Isn't it great? For all of you guys, all you COD fans out there, Oh shit, this is my last story. <laughs> this is what? My last story. The fuck, man? How did I go what? through them all that fast? Jesus. Anyway. Um, I gotta, I gotta hey, hey guys. Hey, hey guys. Um, so if we wanted to actually make a game, Mike said it would be really easy. 
Yes. I think it should be something we have to keep tapping Gibby's face until he dies. That's what he's saying. If we wanted to do a Flappy Bird, if we wanted to do a Flappy Bird like game with Gibby's head on it, Mike said it would be really easy. No, we want to do dead Gibby, and you just keep <laughs> tapping his face, and then he dies. Maybe, maybe not. The expansion pack could be like dead Ralph. Mike said that would be even easier. <laughs> like, like you just tap it, and his face expands like he's dead choking Ralph. or something, and then just dies. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And then whoever pisses us off that week, we just put a new face there. Um, <laughs> the douchebag of the week. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my god, that's it. Every week it gets updated with the douchebag of the week. In. That's that sounds like a lot of commitment to keep coming up with a douchebag, but I well, mean, first, it's well, really Gibby not, could just because, be, no, because we can do it once a month, guys. Gibby, no, once it's fine. For however many weeks it's Gibby, we just make Gibby's like head or like we get a different face for him or something. There's ways to get around. You can put a Christmas it. hat on him, it'd be the Christmas edition. Blow that the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Can we charge sixty dollars per uh, update? No, 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 no. It's three ninety nine for the initial game, and then five ninety nine for the expansions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all it is is a different picture of somebody's face. Wait, like we really need to get the shit together uh, for this because can, can we do a season it. pass? How much when you is our tap it, pass? it should be a dildo. Like instead, of, it's not like your finger is just having a dildo smack him in the face the entire time, <laughs> and then his head explodes. <laughs> Guys, oh, if we Lord. don't actually make this, I'm going to be really disappointed. <laughs> this, this is going to be gold, Gibby. It is. You might get fired. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> They're like, hey, why is, why is your face on this uh, really popular app getting smacked by a dildo? And oh, you no. just say, I off the wrong people. <laughs> tune in on Tuesdays and you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> I guess then they'll finally figure out that you two are friends. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Anyway. <sighs> Do you guys think you're good at Call of Duty World War II? Probably not. No, not really. I mean... <laughs> now is your chance to prove it. No. No. <laughs> it wasn't actually a question. It was just Gibby being Gibby. <laughs> Activision has launched its rank play for the PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, kicking off a placement season where players will compete to find out where they stack up against the competition. So, um, I guess it's been live for about four days now, five days now. Uh, so you guys go out there, beat each other up in a 4v4 ranked play, uh, with game modes including Search and Destroy, uh, Capture the Flag, and Hardpoint. Point. Uh, esports settings are enabled for ranked, Pull it, pulled from the settings found in the Call of Duty World League. For example, you cannot use turrets. Uh, Church. while incendiary shells are also not available. How can you not use incendiary shells when that is a class perk? Church. Whatever. Uh, additionally, some weapons are unavailable, including the Lewis, the MG-15, the Bren, and the MG-42, while some attachment score, score streaks and equipment are also blocked. You can see a full rundown on esports settings on their website. Winning matches will earn you points that go towards unlocking your next rank. Every time you lose or quit a match early, you'll lose points. As mentioned, the first season is only for placements. At the end of Season 1, you'll be assigned a skill rating, and then that will carry forward into Season 2. There are seven tiers. you got Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Master, and Pro. It'll be... Uh, extremely difficult to get to pro status as only the top 100 players worldwide will reach this rank. So, for all of you that are actually interested in it. Do I, can I win money? Uh, I guarantee, well, if you're that good and you become pro, probably, yes. On it. <laughs> what game are you talking about? COD. Uh, Call, I'm out. Call of Duty. I'm out. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, uh, I guess that means we're off to a corner. Uh, yeah, I, I found it some things, may be I the guess. corner the day's murder is that delivery boy yet? Yeah, Maybe. Mr. Fondue or whatever the fuck his name is. Peace. All right, guys. Frank's Corner. Interpretation is brought to you by taste and good form. 
Tell me something, my friend. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Mystery, mystery, we all are fighting. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You ain't heard nothing yet. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in the water. Down on the corner, out in the street. You know it. Yes! I get to speak first in this segment because it's just what I do. That's not fair. I didn't even know. <laughs> it would have been worse had you just messaged me to go and then jumped ahead. I know, right? Oh, anyway, right. hold on. Is this thing on? Hold on. Let me go over to Twitch. Make sure we're even still broadcasting. <laughs> I'll just hang up on you. Where? Okay, no, no. It's it's <laughs> secretly turned off the sound in the middle of the uh, the song. Click. Right. I, I don't know what kind of tricksy stuff he's doing over there. He could play the outro and just end the show, and I didn't even know about it. Oh, good point. Where's the outro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anywho, uh, to keep with the trend of we're a uh, gaming show i guess i found some uh some uh, mario facts yeah. oh boy oh, oh boy, boy. Oh. Uh, that wasn't mario <laughs> all right let's go <laughs> uh, yeah, mario. yeah so i don't know how interesting these are really going to be because again i just kind of found them and i'm going to hope for the best no no we're not going to do those uh instead of shooting instead of shooting flames out of his hand flying and occasionally being invincible mario was supposed to be even more over the top riding rockets and wielding laser guns <laughs> Needed. Uh, Needed. <laughs> it doesn't say why they toned it down, but I guess they decided to probably couldn't handle the graphics back then. Stupid moms and their FCC shit. Uh, Birdo is a man. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, according to the original Super Mario Bros. 2 booklet, it states he thinks he is a girl and he spits eggs from his mouth. My god, he's but the first transgender. He'd rather be called Bird Etta. Oh my god. <laughs> so, li- yeah, little did you know, he was having an identity crisis during that whole thing, and you're just there throwing eggs at his face. That's my fault for assuming it's identity. Right? Uh, Peach holds the record for showing up in more games than any female in history. Uh, since being in the Mario universe since 1985, Princess Peach has showed up in over 60 titles. Nothing on, nothing on women's rights or anything there? Sorry, I got a, te- a text message, and uh, fuck them. Take them away. What are we doing? <laughs> if, if video game characters were actually able to accrue money, Peach would be rolling in it. She she made the Forbes list of wealthiest fictional people with an estimated overall wealth of $1.3 billion. How? How do, they, how do they guess that? I have no idea. Other than the fact that she's a princess. So, I mean, like, the family's rich to begin with. And ridiculous amount of kingdoms you have to travel through. But we never know anything about her dad. Or where he came from, or her mom. What are all those dudes that they rescue in the third one? I wonder what their relationship is to them. Wait, are they, they, they uh, Mar- aren't they the mushroom she- people? No, no, no. They're kings of like the kingdom. Like Super Mario Bros. Three. Every time you beat one of the uh, Koopa kids, yeah, you get the wand that turns them back. Yeah. Who? What? What is that supposed to be? Like world leaders? And Peach is just some kind of like hooker that got picked up. I don't know. Hmm. I don't remember yeah. if I ever played the third one, now. That's my favorite one. You had to have played that. I'm Googling it. <laughs> All right. Uh, while Princess Peach rules over the famed Mushroom Kingdom, Princess Daisy stakes her claim as the ruler of the Sarasa Land and makes her first appearance in Super Mario Land. Who? Oh, wait, I have played this one. Prince Princess Daisy? Oh, uh, Luigi's Daisy. Queen. Yeah. The, the brunette. I don't remember saving yeah. anybody at the end, though. You don't really save them. You probably them. didn't. You probably let them die. No, they're turned into, like, a snake, and they're like, help me, Mario, and then you climb aboard the flying ships and jump through. Yeah, the last level is a flying you ship, get the magic right? Wand. Yeah, there's a bunch of them, but once you beat... Uh, you get the wand remember. that goes, wow, 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 and they turn back into a human, and they're like, thanks, Mario, you're the greatest! Here's a little something to help you on your trail, and Peach is in here. Fuck off. Hmm. Um, anyway, Chain Chomps were created from a traumatic childhood event 
when Mario's creator Shigeru Miyamoto was chased by a dog. Thankfully, the dog was pulled back from biting him by the chain attached to his collar. So you get okay. the picture. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, the dog, raw, 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 yeah, whatever. I'm not going to draw it out for you. You should. Draw. Wario. Start drawing. Uh, made his first appearance in the Game Boy game Super Mario Land 2. Just, uh, I don't think, that was just part, okay. We might all think of Mario as a plumber, however, the original version of Mario was a carpenter. <coughs> Super Mario and, oh, for the game. That makes sense with the hammers and all. Yeah. He, he's kind of a jack of all trades, you know, he can do some carpentry, then he moved to plumbing because, you know, maybe it was Entrepreneur. winter. Yeah. Weren't, weren't they plumbers in the, uh, in the movie? The live action movie? Well, yeah, but not too many people acknowledge that as actually existing. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny, just because of how Don't bad get me wrong, it was. Actually, I really like the movie for how shitty, terrible, and awesome it is. Yeah. But I think a lot of people kind of write that off as not a thing. Interesting, okay. Uh, Bowser gets around a lot. He's appeared in over 150 games. Holy shit. True. He's always got to be the bad guy in everything. How is he not the highest paid? Well, he could, uh, well Peach just made the list. It didn't... It didn't say what ranking on the list. She just made the list. The list, guys. The list. The list of Jericho? Maybe. No. I can try to find the list. Will, will, will you know it? Speaking of Bowser no. being the villain, though, he's not always played the villain. In fact, in order to defeat Smithy in Super Mario RPG, Bowser joins Mario and the gang instead of fighting them. The enemy of my enemy is my enemy, or whatever, right? Yeah. You said That's that R weird Final said Fantasy RPG, game that we right? saw. Yeah, that's the weird Final Fantasy game we saw during Drunk Day. Oh! Gotcha. Oh, it is. He doesn't remember. Actually, I, 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 you keep saying him and I Google him. <laughs> I won't lie. Apparently there's a, a Super Mario RPG 2. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Looks like Bowser's on their side there, too. Huh. Just saying. I'm stalling because I'm trying to find the Forbes list of... The Forbes Fictional 15. I don't... I don't see Peach on this list. <gasps> they lied to you. But Scrooge McDuck is on the Forbes list of uh, 15. Forbes 15. There we uh, go. Jay, Jay Gatsby, Carl, Mr. Monop Mr. Monopoly. How? Guy's always broke. I mean, God, even on the box, his hands are in his pockets, pulling them out, and there's nothing there. It's a facade. He's like Trump. He's broke, so he can like get more Trump. money. He's like Trump. Uh, I definitely know. do not see Scrooge McDuck is estimated at $65.4 billion, while Smog the Dragon is $53 billion. Does he, though? Because eventually he does. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Uh, I guess, well, just while he was alive, maybe? Oh, Tony Stark. Oh, of course, Princess Peach is number 15. So she just barely made the cut. Huh. So, huh. There you go. Anyway, back to whatever I was talking about. In Super Mario 64, the ghost known as Boo will shrink and cover its face whenever Mario glances his way. And then it will grow larger when... And then it will grow larger whenever he turns away. The creator, T Takashi Tezuka based this strange personality trait off of his wife, who was normally quiet when he paid attention to her, but would get upset when he focused too much on his work. <laughs> wow. So she was a woman? Yeah. Well, but not Boo, necessarily, but the idea of Boo, of when I'm looking at you, you got nothing to say, but all of a sudden I turn around and... Mah, 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 mah. I know that feeling. <laughs> Another random fact about the ghosts is that in Super Mario 64... His high-pitched laugh was actually just Bowser's laugh sped up really fast. Mm. Just how they made the sound track or laugh track. <clears throat> uh, Luigi, pronounced Ruigi in Japanese. That's racist. Is that where we get the whole <laughs> L and R thing from? That is Remember? super racist. <laughs> Damn. Ru Ruigi uh, actually translates to similar. <laughs> so. Like Mario, but green. Yeah, yeah interesting. 
Uh, speaking of Luigi's look, it wasn't until Super Mario Bros. 2 when the designers decided to give him di uh, different, differing, yeah, different features uh, like taller and lankier frame and ability to jump higher. Which I guess kind of makes sense because at the beginning they were literally the same, just one dyed red, one dyed green. Yep. That is true. Uh, the last fact about Luigi is that he's the master of the violin. In WarioWare Smooth mo Movies, Luigi is the master of the violin and even shares his name with famed composer Luigi Bocciarini. Interesting. Yeah. I just want to know why he keeps going in the mansions. Who, Luigi? Yeah. Uh, because he's... Does he want to be rich? Does he want to be needed, rich? He needed his own franchise, that's why. Uh, makes sense. Uh, in the early years of Nintendo, they named their jumping hero a after their office landlord, Mario Seagal. Uh. Uh, legend has it that Seagal also happened to be an avid duck hunter. Quack. It, for, uh. for you, Quack. For, for you Quack. kids that probably Quack. don't understand the uh, reference... Uh, back in the NES days, you'd get both Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunter on the same cartridge. That's the character from Super Smash Bros. Wii U. Or damn, that, yeah. So yeah. damn. Um, and of course, I think almost everybody knows this now, but if you want to go back even further, Mario wasn't originally called Mario. Uh, he was instead referred to as Jumpman. Because that's what he did. He jumped. And... Who knows? The Japanese can't be bothered to give him real names. Just he's also jumping. super racist. <laughs> uh, the baddie Wart first appeared in Super Mario's Two. You big old frog as the main antagonist, but that's not all. He actually cameoed in a few other Mario games and even shows up in the Game Boy game Zelda: Link's Awakening. Huh? I still yeah. don't understand Zelda. It's because you're not cool enough. Don't get it. I'm surprised Dace didn't get on a plane to Philadelphia right now just to smack you for saying that. I mean, if you, I can understand if you don't understand it now, but the original ones, come on. I don't think I ever played the originals. You're the worst. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Not hard enough. Really? <laughs> Uh, rumor has it that the brown mushroom-shaped henchmen were supposed to be the Koopa Troopas in the beginning of the Mario NES. Uh, but playtesters had stated that the Koopa Troopers seemed too tricky of an enemy to square off with straight away. Thus, developers decided to create an enemy that could be defeated with a single stomp, and so the Goomba was their solution. Oh, okay. So, originally, there weren't supposed to be Goombas. It was supposed to just be Koopa Troopas. So the but things the that throw the goddamn boomerangs... Uh, turtles, turtles, uh, the turtles. Uh, yeah, they're just the regular turtles. Yeah. Um, dumb it down for. That's fine. So, so who yeah. are the ones that throw the boomerangs? Or, or are they the same thing and they just throw boomerangs? They're elites. I'm just making that up. <laughs> okay, I was just curious because I don't, I don't like those boomerang motherfuckers. What? You can't handle it. No, man, they just, just come like at the you. Just like the fucking hammer thrower guys? They just came, yeah, the hammer, they're even worse. God, go get a job. Stop throwing <laughs> away your tools. You yeah, need you those. You suck at retro games, don't you? I think he's, uh, yeah, they're just called boom, Boomerang Bros. I thought I was good, and then I tried playing uh, so Metal Gear Solid goes. again. God, <laughs> what happened? Snake! What happened? Snake! <laughs> That's all you kept hearing, because I couldn't stay alive. Yeah, the hammer guys are just called hammer bros, and the boomerang guys are just boomerang bros. Got real creative with the names there, didn't you, jump man? Wow. I like it. Uh, the popular star is not just a magical weapon that transforms Mario and company into unstoppable killing machines. It's also unique in that it is the first Mario power-up Mario power up to feature <laughs> Mario eyes. Mario Mario. <laughs> to feature eyes. Really? Yeah. Don't the mushrooms have eyes? Hmm. No, nope. not originally. I don't think they still do. I, I don't think so either, but... I think he just does shrooms. The mushrooms with eyes are the Goombas he the... was just talking about. No, the mushrooms kind of look like they have eyes, because they have the little... They have the two dashes divots. on it, right? Yeah. I'm confused. I always assume they had eyes. But then again, I am retarded. Hey, he said it, not me. 
but maybe not in the NES version. No, because yeah, the the original ones they were Mm-mm. different. They were they looked like a little penis. Yeah. Oh uh, shit! I just googled it. You're right. Uh, first appearance. Oh, God, in that looks Toad. so wrong, and I want to try it. What? Shroud. Is Gibby coming out of the closet? I thought he was already out. Like, I thought that was known. My question is, does he get bigger because he's high? Yes. Oh, they do get eyes by the third one. I was going to say, like, that's normally it was just two black lines, which I always associated as as eyes. Yeah, by the third one they get eyes. Or maybe even the second. And again, this was just, the the star was the first power power up. Mm Mm-hmm. To be honest, I, I know the mushrooms had eyes. I had no idea the stars had eyes. Oh, God, I'm so bad. All right, go ahead. Did the leaf have an eye? Now I need to know. Did the leaf no, the, have an the eye? Leaf, the leaf, no. Gibby's really fucked up over this right now, guys. <laughs> what had eyes? You're, you're, I need to know. you're changing my whole entire oh childhood. I don't like it. Oh, my God. The, new, the leaf has eyes now. It does. Are you yep. serious? No. And, and the flower had eyes. Yeah, the flower had eyes. Um, that is so weird. Okay, I I didn't. Okay, then again, I I didn't think a mushroom having eyes was weird. But the original leaf from Super Mario Brothers three did not have eyes. Interesting. Look at this. You got a whole, whole picture thingy that I can. I like yeah. That. Look at that. The green. What's the green one again? That's extra life, right? The frog. Oh, no, the, the green mushroom? mushroom? Yeah. Extra life. Th- isn't there, is there not one that's a poison one in that? I guess no. not. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, What's moving on. Fro- First appearing fro- in Super Mario okay. Bros., Toad is one of the seven guards. Seven? Seven guards that proudly serve Princess Peach. Time out, time out, time out. Toad as a guard? That has got to be hilarious. I'm just saying. He's a pushover. Uh, Complete to- pushover. Toad both represents the single character, but also the collective name of the entire mushroom people. <laughs> mm-hmm. so, I never even thought of that, but that is true, isn't it? So, yeah, wait, so are they all guards? No, it, just it's all the Toad guards. and his other six Toad, Toad friends. friends. Yeah. Uh, Interesting. I like it. Waluigi, or Waruigi, I suppose, first appeared in Mario Tennis 64. Uh, out of necessity because of Wario, whoa, whoa. didn't have a doubles partner. Tennis? Yeah, I remember that. 64? Oh, is that on N64? No yeah. This might be why I didn't know it. I really, it I didn't it's know. on the Super Nintendo. They just got way before their time. Whoa, it looks cool. No, it does. Kitty, where the fuck have you been? Under a rock. Clearly. <laughs> no, my bad, my bad, my bad. Under a toad. No, then you would know it. Mm-mm. Toad won't get up. Sorry. Alright, and then the last fact that I have is that on the cover of the original Mario Bros, Mario is actually tumbling to his death into a pool of lava. <laughs> <laughs> he probably never actually noticed, but yeah. I thought he was hopping it, but... I thought so, too. Sucks that he's oh. dying. That's now, if great. you look at it, he's toast. He's running into the wall. He, he's done. So that's, that's, that, so that means it's the last one ever? Le- pr- last what? Frank's Corner? Last fact? Last No, last Mario. He, he, they just saying he died. This was the original one. That was the first one. Oh, yeah. I thought you said the latest. No. What? No. Well, fuck the you cover too. of the original Mario Bros. He's also in like the the fire outfit. Like he's not even in the original outfit. Right. Any Huh. Yeah. Anyway, so that's uh Frank's corner. Woo-hoo! Bringing us right to the nine o'clock hour. Yeah. No. Oh, well done. Yay! So let's go around the horn to hear what everybody's doing. Gibby, what do you got going on? Uh I got addicted to Rust. Somebody save me, because I'm going to go play it after this. <laughs> are you, are you going to stream it? I was debating, to be honest, but I'm probably I'm only going to play for about an hour, so I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah. Is that what you say every day? Dude, all right, first off, I streamed yesterday, and I was planning on stopping and watching the, the ball game, 
And then I looked at the clock and it was 11. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I don't know what happened. My time, it just disappeared. Just disappeared. Uh, so I'm going to attempt to just play for a little bit tonight. Don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, I will probably stream tomorrow if Dace doesn't stream, though. Because I have a, a problem. And it's rust. I will try. It's a big but... problem. I, I need my I need my fix. Anyway, other than that, <laughs> please email me at thedaysmanshow at gmail.com. Uh, I will attempt to write you back, but no promises because no one talks to me because I'm a lonely son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus, this got real, real fast. Yeah. Right? You okay? You okay? No. You need to talk about it? So anyway, that is all I have. So watch the stream. Because I need people to watch me. I only get like maybe like five people, and it's like scattered. And it's all us. And most <laughs> of them, no, they usually just like, yo, come play with me. And I'm like, no, I'm a loser. I can't do it. You know, it just it just doesn't work. <laughs> just saying. Just all right, work. Frank. What do you got going on? His his story keeps getting sadder. <laughs> I got no friends to play with. I just sit in the dark crying. That's pretty much what happens. Anyway, uh, yeah. you can uh, follow me on Twitter at the Daysman Show. Don't do it. He doesn't do anything. Random. Hey, every once in a while, I'll, I'll take a picture of something. His foot. Watch out. He's gonna do it right now because you called him out on it. <laughs> I think that's what usually happens. Somebody goes, "You don't do anything on it," and all of a sudden, picture. Yeah. <sighs> Oh my god, I just noticed your pictures of the pub. It's not the pub. Oh, it's not the pub? Pretty sure it's Memphis. Is it my, Memphis my or the picture? pub? Yes. It's yeah. Uh Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, that was Memphis like five years ago when I was skinny and beautiful. Uh I thought it was the pub. So what like when you were six? Uh sure. It's kinda weird to call a six year old beautiful. No. Oh, oh not if you're Roy Moore. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so, is that it? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm busy trying to figure out something to tweet now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kids, no. go ahead and tell everybody you don't do anything. She's gone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or just hang up on her. <laughs> Alright, time to launch No! Oh, she can get oh, back so. in! So. You, 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 really, assholes? <laughs> she did it. I don't have any... Well, I have all the control in the world, but I just choose not to. I have self-control, Gibble. I don't. I'm sorry. It's just, it's I just, did, it just doesn't happen. Tell everybody what you're not going to do. Mm, what do you mean? Mm. Your plugs. <laughs> we need your plugs. We need, well, I don't what do you plug? We all know this. Oh, Jesus yes. Christ. That was the joke leading into it. She didn't get it. It's horrible. Well, man. Anyway. Oh, my God. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Did you just do that? I did. I can't believe it. I love it. <laughs> I can call back in. Wait, can anybody hang up on her? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Apparently you can. I'm not doing it this time, but I like it. I can just I? keep clicking it. So anytime her face highlight like lights up, I'm just going to end it. I Apparently her mobile's on here. I can call her cell phone. Oh, yeah, you can. I think she is. Well, she's on her cell phone, I think. But she's huh. using an app. Well, yeah. Because I think I used the app when I did it down in, uh, oh, god damn it. <laughs> I think I used the app when I was down in um huh. Kennesaw. <laughs> anyway, follow me on Twitter at the Dace Man. Uh, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Dace Man Show, since we haven't been live on there for a while. Uh, hardest here on twitch.tv slash Dace Man Friends. You can subscribe and get all kinds of stuff. We haven't given any of it away yet, so be the first to get our stuff. We have stuff? What kind of stuff? Kinds of stuff. Just look below. I don't. I don't know what it is. I can't. If I open Twitch, this computer will die. Um, <laughs> you get my face. I know that on a target. I see a lot of. I see a lot of fictional corruption. Yeah. Really. Mm -hmm. Oh, because yeah. I uploaded everything. Um, uh, yeah, it's because because Twitch is the new YouTube. You can catch a lot of our past broadcasts on Twitch, uh, and by that I mean none of the gaming uh, past broadcasts. But you can catch like. Our shows, or our segments, or I don't know what you call them. Yes, uh, anyway, if you want to catch all the past stuff, go over to YouTube.com slash Daceman Show. Want to see where everything's going on? The Daceman Show.com. And lastly, we got a tournament coming up in two weeks. Oh, shit, I forgot. Ah, uh, you're the worst. 
uh, where we will be with pairing up with Adventureland Store in the Voorhees Town Center, not the Eshla Mall. I've been corrected several times. Um, the Eshla Mall. <laughs> $10 to enter. You can register online with us and pay the day of, or you can uh, just come up and register the day of at the uh, Adventureland store. We'll be out front. We'll be running the tournament, and we'll be doing other things. We may be in the back. We don't know where we're going to be at. Yeah. We probably should have a meeting. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Period, period, period. Anyway, that's all we got going on. Uh, yeah. Do you want me to do the outro? You probably should. I, I don't know when you're going to do things. I, I did the outro. You hit it? I did. Okay, right now. Ah! That was there for the few. <laughs> for the crowd. For my chicken. For chickens. the spectacular. And chicken. <laughs> hey, guys, tune in, and we'll see you next Tuesday back in the basement.